Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway, brought to you by Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway, it's created exclusively for NMP TV, and it's brought to you by our friends at PRMG. They're working for your best interest. Now, last week, there was a lot of action. We got appreciation numbers, which were strong. We got existing home sales and pending home sales numbers. I'm sorry, existing home sales and new home sales numbers, both on the contractual side, which means signed contracts, more of a finger on the pulse for December. They were strong. Now, this is really good news in the face of low inventory, rising prices, and interest rates that have started to move higher. All that was good. But then came the Fed. Now, if you're a member of MBS Highway, you know we have been protecting you all along on the way down in pricing in mortgage-backed securities. But then we correctly called the turning point based on something called the leash effect. You need to be a member of MBS Highway and you'll know exactly what that means. Well, we rode that puppy up and gained almost 100 basis points. That was wonderful until Mr. Jerome Powell reigned on the parade. See, it started off all well and good with Jerome Powell saying that he perhaps in his statement wasn't going to be as hawkish, didn't talk about that all important runoff of the balance sheet. People thought that maybe the Fed was going to go into this gently, but then came a separate statement saying that they were open to balance sheet runoff. That means actually letting mortgage-backed securities now come off their balance sheet without reinvesting them. And you know, they're reinvesting about $70 billion a month. Now, while they won't stop that all at once, the markets got scared a little bit because of that. And then we had that big down drop, but of course we protected you in advance of that. As soon as we saw that statement sent down alert, protected everybody from a 70 basis point decline. Now, as far as moving forward with the Fed, they're in a tough spot. They painted themselves into a corner where there are no good choices. See, the Fed doesn't understand that inflation is not transitory. Now they admit that it is. But even so, Jerome Powell made a comment like, hey, you know, it's a high class problem to get inflation because the economy is recovering. Sorry, Mr. Powell, it's not a high class problem. It's a middle class problem. It's an underserved problem when those individuals are seeing the cost of goods that they need to live rise faster than wages are. Now, in addition to that, what the Fed's doing, in my opinion, is pretty stupid. They're continuing to purchase mortgage-backed securities through March before they stop tapering, then only to allow them to run off their balance sheet. You know what that's like? That's like saying, you know, I'm going to go on a big diet in a couple of weeks. So until then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat all the crap I can. Give me all the candy, all the sugar, all the snacks, all the carbs, everything. Let me get all fattened up and then I'll go on a diet. It makes no sense, obviously. So why is the Fed? Why are these people who are supposed to be really smart and who are supposed to be doing the most important pricing in the world, and that is pricing the cost of money, why are they doing things so foolishly? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, this week, this week we're looking at the big number is going to be the jobs number. And of course, you know that mortgage bonds are gonna be very volatile around this. Now, I want you to watch the wage component, hourly earnings. That's going to be probably the most sensitive one because once again, that focuses around inflation. We saw inflation numbers last week come in and they're getting to levels that are the highest we've seen in almost 40 years. So this is gonna be interesting. There's a couple of levels on the 10 year to watch out for. There's 188 on the upper range, a break above that and hold on to your seat belts. And then on the lower range, it's 177. A move under 177 and you should be thinking about floating. But what you really should be thinking about is why the heck am I not on MBS Highway if you're not? So make sure you get on board. Don't go through the aggravation you've been put through. And by the way, refis are down 53%, but not for MBS Highway subscribers because they've got the answer for that. And purchases are down 13%. Again, MBS Highway subscribers are doing better because what do they have? All the tools to gain more refer referral partners and to convert more opportunities. Make sure you don't get left behind. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. PRMG continues to provide our wholesale partners across the nation with better technology, better product, better pricing, and better service. Our nationally recognized brand is more than just an image. It is a symbol of integrity. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS Highway Trial.